the nearest station is Abbey Wood. Crossness pumping station. Yeah, they made us wear helmets to design it as crazy as we can. Which is, I mean, just making my day again, honestly. Hello everyone, I'm Filip Manuilov and today we'll be going to the Crossness pumping station which is essentially a sewage museum as I understand it and it is located quite far east and we'll be taking Elizabeth line from here which is Farringdon station is Abbey Wood but from there is still a bit of a distance to get to the museum. So we're at Abbey Wood station right now and look at the ceiling job I think. Very good stuff. So right now we're at this place called Abbey Wood and as usual I guess I should do a little overview of the place of the area and I mean honestly there isn't much to say about it. There's some roads, there's some houses over there I'll show you. I guess relatively new built and mainly just apartment buildings not very not a lot of I guess attraction points or anything honestly feels like the middle of nowhere for now maybe we'll get interesting the station was actually really nice as you've seen this the ceiling and everything the design I think is spot on but other than that I reckon you will need a car to be just moving around this place because, I mean, as you see, it's not very pedestrian friendly. Things are becoming a little bit nicer. We encountered this small pond over here or lake, you want to call it? Yeah, I think it's looking a bit better. There's something building over here, so probably another block of flats, just like this one's probably going to be a nice area. Look at this beauty, actual little tiles. Oh, look at this car. Let's not get attacked by swans. I think that's their, hang <laughs> that's their hanging out spot. I don't think it's looking happy at you. Oh. This one looks angry. I think, I think their mom is a bit angry at me. Yeah. <laughs> there we are, Crossness pumping station. We got to the location finally. And there's some more things over here. And right behind me, I think there's that way, there's the River Thames and you can see there's quite a lot of industrial units, I suppose. Here we are, we just got inside the pumping station and yeah, they made us wear helmets just to keep the head gear protected. I mean, look at this place, it's absolutely amazing. I really like it. I think it's quite interesting in comparison to the steam museum that I was filming earlier ago. You can check it out, the video. Look at this. Wonderful. I think it was built in the 1850s. And then it was operating since then. And they kept upgrading the whole pumping station with new pumps. And also, as I've been told by Amalia, that they were architects and they got given complete freedom to design it as crazy as they can. And that's why we're seeing this very interesting designs over here. Okay, you can tell now. We're looking at this sewage pump model. Look at the floor. Just 
love the details of this place. Look at the view from here. Very cool. The floors are really nice. Not, not ideal for heels, but definitely very strong. This will take some time to rust. Just look at the scale of these pumps. Enormous. And there is the one over there, which is working. You could see it will just be coming closer. This is the pump working. So the station was designed by Joseph Baselget, who was the engineer, and Charles Henry Driver, he was the principal architect of this project. And I think it's a beautiful example of Romanesque architecture. Very good. Look at this pump behind me, just right there. Look at these details. Very beautiful. One of the key purpose of the station was to get rid of the sewage from London extensive network of sewers from the River Thames and they used four beam engines which is one of them is working in front of you and these were one of the largest engines that have survived of this kind and they used to be powered by steam and now I think they've just been powered by steam only on the exhibition days such as this one. These engines at Crossness Station were once capable of pumping over 10 million gallons of sewage per day and the station construction was a major engineering feat at this time because it was built in the late 19th century and it involved building a massive underground tunnel system. The central octagonal hall where I'm standing right now is perhaps influenced by the medieval architecture, particularly the octagonal towers of some structures like castles and churches. And this connection may be due to the fact that the station was built on the site of a Roman fort. Definitely you should give a like and subscribe to the channel because I'll be doing more exciting content like this one. I mean, this is absolutely amazing. Every day you get to see some great architecture like this.
I mean, honestly, if any of you is an engine lover, this is a paradise. Just how the beautifully assembled these pieces are. Maybe not this one in particular, but most of them. I think we might be going on the train back. Just wonderful 300 meters on the train. That's the name of the engineer again, Basil Get Joseph. So we are in this train. I think we're also lucky to be taking this old classic bus which is, I mean, just making my day again, honestly Happy one! I think this will be the end of this particular video. The key takeaways, I guess, will be just stay curious, stay and keep exploring different things, just like this particular museum. And there's like a lot of good places that I'll be going to. And I think, I hope it inspire, inspires you to also go explore some places around you and just stay curious, I guess, one of the important things in this life. Anyways, see you in the next video, subscribe to the channel, share your thoughts in the comments below.